This year I decided to join Team Cliff Bar because their calendar really lined up with my life outside of cycling. I was looking for a team that wasn't going to throw me into a van and drive me all over the country for every race under the sun. For Cliff Bar to, to have a rider win a major crit is a goal. There's some new riders on the team with that in mind, but then there's a lot of other goals that are more important to why Cliff Bar exists as a team, being part of the community or promoting our sponsors that you could argue leave us in a position as an underdog, but that's why we exist and why we are a respected team. I have an identical twin brother. Our nickname's Ginger One and Ginger Two. Kevin's one minute older than me, so he's Ginger One. We've done everything together. I think no one really knows us as individuals. If someone knows one of us, they know both of us. Last year, Kevin started racing with Team Cliff Bar, and I decided to try something new and race in Australia for a year, which was super hard on the both of us, because the longest we were apart before that was maybe two weeks our whole life. I know Kevin had awesome time on the team last year, so I was super excited to join Cliff Bar. I've never been on a team that's had this much fun. Boise's a little uh, off the beaten path. It, uh, we kind of like it that way. We're the farthest away from uh, another urban area of 100,000. Well, this race is uh, really what we're all about. It's part of who we are. Uh, and we love people to come and have a good time with us. We have Boise State in the blue turf for young football players to aspire to, but we need these criteria to have a young kid, you know, want to do better. But we need those examples to push people to get out and compete. Okay, racing for Team Cliff Bar, you're gonna to get to meet two of them. This is my family event in Colorado. Kevin Morris to the line. Kevin to the line. Three years ago, he's been making things happen for Team Cliff Bar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Pete Morris. It's Thor! And we want to welcome the rest of the Pro Cat One Men's Field for the 2017 ASWB Boise Twilight Criterium to the line. The emotions of the bike race really progress. At the start line, it's definitely nervous. I've usually had a lot of coffee, so I'm raring to go. I fall into a pretty good groove during the race, I'm just thinking about what I have to do to get to the line in the best position possible. The end of the race is just the most hectic, and it's the same nervousness as the beginning of the race. In crit racing, you need both strategy and luck. You go into a crit with a plan, and usually that plan goes out the window in the first turn. You can do a hundred different combinations of what you guys want to do in the race, but the chances of it working out is pretty slim. There'll be 20,000 or more people out there watching Boise Twilight. They like it because it's action-packed. It's fast speeds, like tight corners, a hundred guys trying to go into the corner at the same time. 